Hi, I'm Mira. Welcome to Flow with Mira. Are you ready for a challenging advanced full body Pilates mat work? Come, join me on a mat. We're going to start the class on lying on our back. So go ahead and find yourself or set yourself up on the floor. Have your feet as wide as the mat. Arms out to the side. We're going to start with some hip rolls. So just go ahead and drop the knees towards me and recover back and over to the other side and center in breath. Keep it nice and loose and over and come back and over. Just going to start, you know, loosening up the lower part of the body here. And in breath. I always find myself very stiff in the morning. So this is what I do actually before I do my workout. It helps to loosen up my lower spine and my hip joint. Now, one more, and then we're gonna add some leg swings. So we're gonna drop towards me. And then the top leg will swing over and come back to center. Drop to the other side and swing and center, drop, and we swing. Back, drop, swing, then recover. Drop, swing, try to keep the shoulder heavy on the floor here. And drop, swing, and let's go one more each side, drop, swing, last one, drop, swing, and come back. All right, walk your feet to the parallel position. Okay, make sure the knees are pointing up to the sky and take your arms overhead here. We're going to move on to our pelvic curl. So keep the arms rather um, active here. So take an in-breath, exhale, deepen the abdominal muscle to lengthen the lower, lower spine to the floor. Then go ahead and peel the spine up to your bridging position. Feel like as if someone's pulling you up in your arms and pulling you down at your knee joint, stretching the spine away. Then exhale, we roll down the spine, creating a little bit more space in between each vertebra and release back down to the floor. Again, we exhale, using the abdominal to lengthen the lower back down to the floor and peel up and reach forward towards the knee in breath. Exhale, lengthen down, roll all the way back to the floor. And we'll repeat again in breath. Exhale, we roll up, peel up, reach forward in breath. Exhale, we roll down and lengthen again two more times exhale so the idea here is to create more space in between each vertebra as you roll up and down and exhale roll down again i'm thinking lengthening my neck away from my shoulder towards my fingertips and i'm reaching my sitting bone away towards my heels last one Exhale, we roll back up again. Reach forward, forward and up high. Then roll down again. Sending my lower spine really pressing through the floor. Then my sacrum followed by my tailbone. All right, now here, keep the arms there. Bring the legs up to table, top one and two. Squeezing the inner thighs nice and tight here. Here we go, for the hundreds, bring the arms up, follow by the chest lift. Shoot the legs to an appropriate height for you. We in breath, exhale, we pump, and inhale, and exhale, in breath, exhale, inhale. Make sure the arms are pumping down deliberately here. Inhale, one more like so. Inhale, now let's lower the legs as we exhale to where you feel you can handle it. Inhale, bring it up to vertical. Exhale, eye level maybe, 
and inhale. Exhale. Sh, 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 sh. In breath. Two more set. Sh, 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 sh. In breath. Last set. Sh, 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 sh. In breath. Now we exhale, lower down, all the way, squeeze the inner thighs, down, down, down. Maybe we can reach the floor. Squeeze the legs together, palms facing each other, roll ups. And we breathe up. Oh, that's a tough one. Into that C curve. Wow, oh, we made it. Into that C curve again. Neck is long. Then we roll down, back to the floor. And take your arms overhead. Again, for the roll-ups, up as the inhale. Exhale, peel the spine up and over into that C curve, in breath. Exhale, as we roll back, get the sacrum down, get the lower back down. Then take your arms overhead and we do it again. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, we peel up, peel up, peel up, C curve, in breath. Exhale, we roll back roll back, roll back, and come arms overhead, last one, and we lift, and we peel the spine up into that C curve, and then we roll back down to the floor, stay in the chest lift, bringing the leg one, bringing the leg up two, interlace your hands behind your Head, let's do reverse crisscross. We straighten the leg forward, pull the leg closer to me, and rotate the spine. Straighten and rotate the other way. And straighten and pull in and rotate. And straighten, pull in and rotate. And straighten, pull in and rotate. Straighten, straighten. One more each side. Last one. Come back, pull the knees in, lower the chest down, circle the arms down by the side for the rollover. We straighten the legs up to the sky and fall to the hip, roll over the spine. Dorsiflex the feet, separate them, lower the toes down to the floor. Then we roll the spine back, pelvis down, pointing the feet, reach the legs away, together, take them up, and roll over. We dorsiflex, we separate, we lower the feet down, we roll the spine back, set the pelvis down to the floor, we point the feet, reach the leg away, together, and up, and roll over, and flex, separate, and lower, and we roll back. We point, reach out. Together, one more time, up. Roll over. We dorsiflex, separate gaze is to the sky. And we roll back, back, back. Point the feet, reach the legs away, bring the legs back. Pull the knees in, lower one foot down, second leg down, then circle the arms back behind your head. We are going to do double, leg, double legs lower with reverse ab curl. So leg up to tabletop to start, lift the head and the chest up, then lower both toes down or feet down, form the hip joint, bring it up to tabletop, bring the knees in, curl the pelvis up. And back to tabletop, lower from the hip joint, lift, pull the knees in, curl up and tabletop. Again, three more, down and up, knees in, curl the pelvis up, lift and two more, down, up, knees in, curl the pelvis up. And one more, down, up, pull the knees in, curl the pelvis up and back, then lower one foot, 
second leg down and lower the chest down now we've got the hamstring pull one we lift up again one and two extend the legs away curl up grab the back of your legs here lower the leg away from me down to the floor and we double pulse the other leg we switch switch Two more sets. Last set. Bring both legs up here to the sky. Hands interlace behind your head. Lower the leg again. The leg away from me. Let's go into bicycle leg. So we're going to bring the leg in and switch. And bring the leg in and switch. Swipe down on the floor and change. And change. And change. And change one more each side, change and hold reverse top knee fold and change top knee fold. So we're thinking knee flexion, hip extension. One more set, both legs are up to the sky. Grab the back of your thighs. Can we lift the chest a little higher? We bend the knees, lower the head down, arms long by the side, ready for our jackknife. We straighten, we bring the legs up, we fall through the hip and roll over again. Now we tap the feet down, lifting from the middle back, lower spine, bring the legs right up to the sky. Then we roll the spine back, back, back and bring the legs away diagonally here three more times up and roll over falling through the hip tap the feet down lifting from the middle back lower back pressing the legs up up away and we roll back legs away and two more up and roll over we tap, we lift, reach up, 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 and roll back. Last one, and up, roll over, and we tap, lifting from the middle back, lower spine, reach up high to the sky, and roll down. And come back diagonally, bend the knees in, lower one foot, second leg down, two pelvic curl in breath. Exhale, peeling up to that bridging position. Press the arms down, really try to grab that pelvis to go really high here. Then we roll it down. Next one, we stay up for our shoulder bridge. We exhale, peel it up up and away press the foot away from me down to the floor and bring the one closer to me up to the sky we reach then we lower we flex lower we flex reach up reach up three more two more last one we take it up we point, let's roll the spine down. Now we roll back up again, reach the foot up, bend the knee, take the foot down. Reestablish a pelvis position and let's switch side. Bring the other leg up and we go down. We flex, two, up, three, four, five, three more. Two, one, up, we point, roll down. Roll up, take it up high, bend the knee, foot comes down, establish the pelvis, lift a little higher perhaps, and roll it down, roll it down, roll it down. Okay, time for our control balance. So, leg up. If you haven't done control balance before, 
watch me for one repetition and then you can rewind the video or you can just go ahead and join me for the rest of the repetitions. Okay, legs up to tabletop. We straighten like we're about to do your rollover. Bring it up. In fact, we are going to do rollover. Roll the spine over. Now, lower the feet down. Toes down to the floor. Circle the arms overhead. Grab the leg closer to me. Bring the other one up to the sky. Thinking about, you want to reach the leg to a 12 o'clock, right up to the ceiling. And then with double breath, we change the leg. Reach up to the sky. We change the leg. Reach up to the sky. We need to free up the hip joint. Lift from the middle back up to the tailbone and change and change and change and change and change one which side last one both legs come down circle the arms down to the other side then roll the spine down like you do roll over. Down, down, down. Hold the legs up vertical to the sky for our corkscrew to me, please. And exhale away. Come back to center. And we go to you. Exhale away. Come back to center to me. Exhale. And center to you. Exhale. Let's go one more set to me. Legs stay together at all time. And last one to you. And away. And center. We bend the knees. We lower one. We lower two. Straighten the legs long on the floor. Take the arms overhead for our roll ups. Inhale, lift. Exhale, come up into that C curve, lift the spine up and come up onto your knee for our side, kneeling side kick. Then we have our side bend. All right, arms up to the T position. We're gonna go to your right first. So we go tip over to your right, bring the left knee up, hand behind the head, push away a little bit, extend the leg. We go, inhale. Exhale, sh, sh, inhale, and sh, 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 reach out, out, reach forward, reach back, back, reach forward, reach back. Two more sets, sh, sh, last set, sh, sh, back, back, come to the side, and take the top arm, bend the knee, come up, balance other side and side bend push the hip away extend the leg reach the hand behind your head dorsiflex and we go sh, sh, inhale and sh, sh, reach up and reach forward reach back and sh, 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 sh. think about lengthening the crown of the head away sh, sh, from the spine and Two more sets. Last set. Back, back, reach out. Up with the arms, bend the knee, come on up. All right, and sit onto your right side for our side bend. We're going to do four side bend, and then we're going to add some leg variation. So stack the leg, knees quite tight together. Top leg in front of the bottom. Here we are, lifting the underneath waistline here. We need to have a really strong shoulder here. Make sure that the shoulder blade is in the right, natural, functional position here. Okay, now here we are. We're going to shoot yourself up. So shoulder over your hand. We'll lift. Lift up in the pelvis and the waist, you look down and side plank. 
Now we're gonna hinge down in the hip, then bend the knee, last knee, then we're gonna bounce up. Right, and side bend over, look down. Forward to me, hip down, then knee. Then two more, look, and over, and forward, hip down, then the knee. Last one, reach up, and over, into the side plank, stay, bottom leg, lift, forward, one, shoot it back, underneath, two, three more, shoot it back, underneath, two more, Shoot it back, underneath. Last one. Shoot it back, underneath. Hinge down, and come on down. Good job. Switch your leg over to the other side. All right, we got the side bend again. Four and four leg variation. Ready? All right, remember, shoulder. Pull in, in, and, sorry, pull in and down towards the body. All right, here you go. When you're ready, let's go. Lift up. And side bend, loop down. And side plank. Down with the hip, then forward by the knees. We will lift. And side bend, loop down. And down in the hip, and forward by the knees. Two more. Lift. And side bend. And back, down, last one, we stay up. And lift, and side bend. And to the side plank, then bottom leg forward. And under, and forward, and under. Whoa, almost my balance, two more. And under, last one. And under, reach. Come on, done, awesome work. Let's go to our front here. We have our little baby swan. So forearm on the side of the shoulder. Legs nice and long there. All right, when you're ready, let's go. Drive the shoulder blades down and come up to your maximum thoracic extension. And come on down. All right, again, inhale. We reach forward and up, 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 exhale, and down. And two more, inhale. Reach forward with the chest, backward with the legs, neck is long, and come down. Last one, plant your feet down. As you take the upper spine up, and Come on down. Let's go to our high swan. Lifting up, then continue journey. Take it as high up as you can. Then we're going to do our swan dive prep. Actually, I should have said that. Now we're gonna send the legs up as the body descent down. As high as you can. And we lift up again to a little high swan. And we kind of rocking down, the legs float up. And again, we lift, legs come down. Now, legs come up, body come down. And two more, chairs up, off we go. And legs up, chest down. Last one. Chest up, legs down, and legs up, chest down. We we'll lower the feet down. Press the arms down, push away into your rest position. Sit back for a moment here. Take an in breath, we can sway left and right in the hip, just to loosen up that back, and exhale. Again, in breath, and exhale, exhale, exhale. Okay, all right, let's come up to a quadruped position, please. All right, here we go. 
We've got leg pull front. We've got our push up. All right, pulling up, pulling up the abdominal. Straighten one leg out, tuck the toes under, reach the sitting bone towards your heels here. Keep the crown of the head reaching in the opposite direction and then other leg off. All right, point your right foot. Bring it up for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down, either foot, point and lift. Two, three, four, five. We stay for the push up. Let's do three down. Up, two, up, loss. Up, walk your hand, straight arm to your feet. One, two, three. Roll up, tall. Roll down again, walk the hands out. Once you reach the floor, straight arm for three, straight arm two, straight arm three, and another push up for three. One, two, three. Walk your arms back, three. Straight arm two, straight arm one. We roll up. All right, one more time. Roll down, walk the arms forward for three, straight on two, and one, another trick push up for me, please. Down, press up, two, press up, three, press up, stay, pelvis up to your upstretch position. Send the tailbone long, send the neck long. You can lower the heel down, a little quick stretch to the back of your legs. Okay, and now from here, lift the heels up again. Bend the knees, send the pelvis back for your panther. Here in a count of three, we're going to jump your feet between your hands. So we go three, two, one, we jump forward. Sit the pelvis down, straighten the legs, Boomerang, let's go. I have my right leg on top of my left. Cross it tight. Then I take my arms forward, pulling my abdominal into that C curve. We roll down. As the lower back touches the floor, the legs float off. So we, are, we have this boomerang position here. And hands down, legs up, roll over, switch the legs. Roll the spine down, halfway down, lift the head and the chest up. Come up to your beautiful teaser position. Circle the arms up to the side, bring it behind you. Stretch your arms back, lower the legs down. Take the arms forward into that C curve again. We roll down, lower back touches the floor. Then we're gonna hover into that boomerang position. Then legs continue over, switch the legs. Roll down, come up, teaser, open, stretch the arms long, lower the feet, circle the arms forward, again, we roll down, boomerang position, arms down, and roll over, switch the legs, roll down, up, teaser, arms to the side, Arms back, lower, and C curve. Again, roll down and roll over. Circle the legs, roll the spine back, and lift, arms to the side, and back over. Let's do one more set here. We roll back and legs over. Switch the legs, roll down, halfway lift your head up and up to that beautiful teaser. Circle the arms, legs long, down with the legs, pulling in with the belly, arms forward. And last one, legs up, roll over, switch the legs and we roll down. We're going to hold the teaser position, hold. And now we cross the leg. And then we cross the leg, and then we cross, and then we cross, three, three, 
two, sh, two, sh, one, sh, one, together. Continue, I can't remember which leg, left leg over, arms behind, down, and bring it over. And release the leg, parallel position, and just fold yourself into half. And allow your body to rest on your legs. And we go, inhale, exhale, and inhale, deep fall, exhale. See if you can inhale to lengthen the spine, pulling, pulling your hands into your feet as we allow the spine to grow taller. Exhale, one more, inhale, exhale. And let's go ahead and roll the spine up, up, up. And let's bring the legs into a diamond position. Sitting nice and tall in breath. Exhale, let's roll down. One for the breath at a time. You can walk your arms forward. Inhale. Exhale, we roll back up. We find the length of the spine. In breath. Exhale, roll down again. In breath. Exhale. We lift the spine. We grow tall. Tall and taller. Bring the hands in front of your chest. One long inhalation with me. Long exhalation. And thank you. Thank you very much for sticking with me. The whole class here, amazing. That was a challenging class. I am sweating. It feels so good though. Right, I hope you enjoyed the class and keep yourself mobile for the rest of the day. And don't forget to hydrate yourself. All right, so I'll see you back on the mat tomorrow for another amazing class. Have a fantastic day. Take care. Thank you for watching and completing the class. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to love, look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my seven day beginner challenge. Click the first link in the comment below and sign up. You will receive daily workout videos focused on building a sustainable practice in as little as 15 minutes per day. This is for all levels, as everyone can gain a deeper understanding of the Pilates fundamentals. If you enjoy my work, please like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on notifications so you do not miss any of my free classes and programs. See you on the mat tomorrow.